hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you don't know who i am hi i'm janice today i'm filming a very highly requested video since i moved to germany so many of you have been asking me to film this video and basically i'm spilling all the tea about how to get into a german university quick backstory for those of you that are new here and you don't already know I am German but I grew up in Ghana and I completed my senior secondary school education in Ghana, basically high school and I wrote the WASI examination. When it comes to this topic, I really had to sit down and prepare because there are so many things to talk about and I just want to put in a huge disclaimer. Number one, everything I'm going to be talking about is based on my personal experience and the little information I acquired as I was going on the journey myself. So I am not a professional. Please don't rely solely on what I'm telling you in this video. This video is made for people that want to study in Germany that is at the university level and this is for the bachelor level and it is mainly for people that you know completed high school in another country i'll be talking specifically about people that completed high school in ghana and wrote their wasi because that is what i did so that's what i know the people that grew up here in germany and went to high school here wrote an exam called abito that is basically the german wasi and with that abito you know you get straight away into the German university you just go okay <laughs> it's that simple but for those of us that didn't do that and we are coming with whatever certificates we have it is a lot more complicated than that the first thing I'm going to talk about is the benefits of German universities so I mean as I delve into this video you guys are going to see how complicated it is and you're probably going to wonder well why go through that stress number one german universities are free keep in mind i'm only talking about german public universities i'm not talking about private universities because they are expensive but german public universities are free the education is free if you go to a country like canada or america or england you're going to be paying very high fees the second thing is it's very highly recognized. If you complete, you know, if you get a degree from a German university, that degree is going to be highly recognized wherever you go because the German education system is really, really good. So it's a benefit to you as well. Now that we've heard of the good things, let me talk about the problems you may face or let me see the problems I faced when I moved to Germany and I was trying to get into a German university. The first thing is my school even certificate is not recognized as a university entry level certificate. So all that means is that my WASI is not recognized as the same as the German Abitur. They are trying to say if the Abitur is here, the WASI is here, which means you don't have enough qualifications to get into a German university. That is the first problem. This applies to a lot of people because I've seen people go through this from, you know, Nigeria, from Kenya, from Mexico, from Brazil, so many countries. So please don't feel bad <laughs> that you, you know, you did the WASI because there's so many countries that Germany says, no, I'm sorry, you're you know certificate is not up to our standards it doesn't get you into university so problem number two is the language you are going to struggle to find a good bachelor degree in a good public university where you can study in english and even if you know there's a possibility to study in english they still have german language requirements so when you're studying a language the level you reach is graded so it's like the first level you know the basics is a1 then you move up to a2 move up to b1 b2 then c1 you have to get to c1 to be able to study in a german university so all that means is your german language has to be c1 level you can't just say you know my german is c1 you have to actually write a german exam called hochschule c1 to get into you know a german university and you have to pass that exam when I came to Germany, I spoke almost zero German. You know, I had to start right from A1 or A1 in German, it's A1. And I think it's three months typically 
pair model or pair course if you are in ghana or any other country and you know there are opportunities to learn german i would advise you to start before you get to germany if you are in shs or whatever you're doing maybe if you're on vacation i would advise you to actually start learning german because i feel like it will save you a lot of time for example if you reach a2 german when you come here you just have to do you know b1 to c1 and it's a lot easier than coming here before you start learning because it's going to take so much time i've listed two problems so far high school certificate is not recognized here and number two the german language obviously if these are problems you still see people studying in germany which means they are not impossible to get over their solutions to the problems and they are not easy solutions but they are solutions as long as you're willing there is a way so the first one i'm going to talk about is probably the easiest solution that is private universities a lot of private universities don't you know have all these problems because they are private with a lot of private universities you can go and study in english you know um they will accept your high school certificate but keep in mind that if you do decide to go the private route your best chance at getting straight into university right after wasi is looking for a private university in germany it doesn't fall under the german school system for example there are a lot of private universities here in germany that are uk originated or us originated and they only just have a campus in germany but it's not actually a german university which means at the end you get your degree from wherever the original university is whether the uk or us blah 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 those ones especially you know don't go through all this because i did apply to a lot of private universities when i first got here and there were some of them that still went the german school system way and still said we're sorry but your certificate isn't recognized or you need to do the german classes all of that so keep that in mind that it's not with all private universities i can get away with all these regulations the next solution i'm going to talk about is the way I went personally and is the most common way and is the most recognized way probably there are other ways out there but this is the standard this is what you know every office you go to is going to tell you this is what you have to do and that is called student colleague this usually lasts for a year before you get into student colleague you have to have German level B2 some have exceptions and accept German level B1 but honestly, you can't get into student colleague with anything less than German B1. So B1 or B2, you get into student colleague. With student colleagues, there are also private student colleagues and public student colleagues. I personally went to a private student colleague just because it was easier for me and they are very flexible with their entry. With the public student colleagues, you are going to struggle a bit to enter because they require an entrance exam. They only pick a few people per semester so if you're not lucky you wouldn't even get in the thing about germany is it's a federal state so every bundesland basically every region has its own rules even when it comes to education right now i live in bayern but i study in north rhine westphalia the rules in north rhine westphalia are totally different from the rules in bayern so at the end of the day it depends on where you are going to study keep that in mind that what i may be saying may differ from you know the rules in the region you are going to study so always be sure to do your research back to student colleague once you can get into student colleague you have to pick a course you pick a course and i think you study about four subjects so I did VCOS, which means I study obviously economics, maths, German. German is part of all the courses. No matter what course you do, you will do German and English. You enter student colleague with V2. It said that by the time you finish student colleague, you're going to have C1. That is the goal. Now, student colleague is two semesters, which is basically a year long. I started in February. 2021 and i'm finishing this month so yes i'm in a private student colleague student colleague the sort of i'm doing vacos let me talk about what happens after student colleague in terms of you know wasting a year you're not really wasting a year if you do student colleague because you are learning 
everything you're learning is going to help you once you get into the university it's new things you're learning so it's not a waste you won't lie it, it is definitely is difficult especially if you're coming from a country where you didn't do anything in german that transition to having to learn and study in german that was the most difficult aspect for me i feel like the content of the course itself isn't that difficult but to be able to understand learn write exams in german that is the most difficult aspect which is why i'm going to say again if you have the opportunity start learning german before you actually move to germany now at the end of student colleague that isn't it you don't just enroll you know do the one year then you can apply to university unfortunately no germany is a bit more difficult than that now the end goal for student colleague is to write an exam and that examination is called the Feststellungsprüfung. Basically, when you write that examination and pass that examination, you supposedly have the same level as the German Abitur. So you can get into any university just as if you were holding a German Abitur. There are a few requirements you need to be able to register for this exam. Number one, you need to have a B2 German certificate. Even if you enter a student colleague with B1, you're still going to have to write the B2 German exam and pass because you need that certificate to register for the first Stellung's proof. Number two, you need your WASI certificate or whatever you know certificate you have after high school. You need transcripts, you need you know a valid ID card or passport, whatever. There are a few things I'm not going to you know delve into everything, but the most important one is the B2 certificate. If you're able to successfully register for the first Stellung Prüfung and get into the system, the first thing you're going to have to do is write what they call the four Prüfung. This is basically the pre-exam to kind of cut down the number of people that actually make it to the first Stellung Prüfung. It sounds very you know, wow, they really don't want us to study here. But I kind of get it, you know, they, they don't want just anyone to get into their school system, to get into their universities. Because obviously they have a reputation to maintain. So the first exam is the four proof room. You need to pass the four proof room before you can make it to the first Stellung's proof room. Usually there are a few months between the four proof room and the first Stellung's proof room. In my case, in the state I am doing it, I honestly haven't done any research in the other states. So it may be different, but I'm giving you information on my situation. In those few months, you are going to be doing seminars. There's usually a main place and you are going to be going there for basically classes to prepare you for the exam. These classes are not as intense as the Sinkoli classes because it's like once a week you have a class, something like that. And you have these seminars to prepare you for the main exam. When you pass the first Sinkoli's proof form, babe, you have made it, okay? You can hold your certificate and go to any freaking university you want to. Now, I know it is a lot. I don't even know if I've said everything because the information is just a lot. Personally, I'm making this video because I feel like when I was in this situation, I was moving into it blindly. I There wasn't anywhere like I could go and get all the information at once. It was like, okay, when I got here, the first thing I found out was, yeah, you need to do German classes. I didn't know what was next. I went to the German classes. I thought immediately after that I could get into school. Then I found out, no, you have to do student colleague. I still didn't know what was next, which is why I'm giving you all of this information. There may be a few more little details here and there, but this is basically the concept of the whole process. Just so you have it all in one place and you kind of know before you decide, okay, I want to go to a German university. Truth be told, if I had known this was the long process, I would probably have opted to study somewhere else and not in Germany but right now I'm in it hopefully I'm able to finish hard and finally get into a German university so if you're wondering no I'm not in university I'm a student colleague once again my course ends in January I have my fourth proofing this month right in my first student proofing in April if I pass the first student proofing and I get the results then I can apply to any public German university Before I end this video, I want to give you guys a few links that are helpful and can help you, you know, if you want to do more research. The first one is Dad Institute, D-A-A-D, Dad Institute. There is even a branch in Accra. I went there, I went to them. They are very, very helpful. You can call them, you can visit their office and, you know, 
tell them you want to study in Germany they're going to give you all the tea all the information they will explain everything to you and they also offer German classes the second one is Anabin now this is a website that can help you to actually identify whether you need to do student colleague or not or basically how your school leaving certificate is recognized in Germany so if you are unsure about whether you need this process or not just go to Anabin link is in the description and it will help you out a lot the next one I'm going to give you is Uni Assist. A lot of universities in Germany require you to, you know, do your application through Uni Assist, especially for international students. So if you already have a university in mind that you want to apply to, you can go to Uni Assist, you can go to the university, search it up. If they do do their applications through Uni Assist, you will see it. Probably they already have their requirements there. If not, you can contact them through Uni Assist and I'm sure they'll help you out. One thing I will say, if you're going to call, you know, educational institute in Germany, keep in mind you're probably not going to find all the information you need. Or if you're going to, you know, contact universities, you're probably not going to find all the information you need. Because a lot of universities actually don't even know how you can get into their university with a Ghana degree. So a lot of these universities would actually refer you to websites like Anabin or to uni assist so i feel like you should go out of your way to do all this research first and then you can you know try to contact the universities and things like that and yes guys it has been a long video but i feel like everything i said was really necessary and i didn't want to make this in parts i really just wanted it to be one concise video i hope it was really helpful it's about time i filmed this and Hopefully I'm able to help someone because I definitely needed the help and I didn't find it so Hopefully this helps anyone that is thinking about um, Getting into a German university. I also saw a few people asking me about the visa situation I purposefully didn't talk about it because I have a German passport So I don't have any experience with you know getting a visa to come and study here So unfortunately, I can't give you any information about that because I didn't have to go through it and you know I don't have experience about it. A lot of people are also asking about scholarships. Number one, education is free. So if you're looking for a scholarship, you know you're probably looking for scholarships that will cover you know your accommodation and things like that. You will find some information about this when you use the link to that institute because they have that scholarships as well. And with that being said, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And as always, I'll be back with more videos. Peace.